Hi, this is Minister Gale. This is Session 1, Week 5 of Learning the 22 Letters of the Hebrew Alphabet. Section 1, Week 5 out of 22, we will go over the Hebrew letters in the mini book, Hebrew vowels and soft feats, the Hebrew large alphabet, and words of the week. This is Week 5 in Review. In respect to the free teaching and copyright laws to others, there is to be no duplication or copies made or sold of this video teaching. Virtual Classroom 2020. These are three excellent online sources. I show how to add them to your PC, laptop, tablet, and your cell phone homepage. These are very easy to use and I go through details on how to use each program. Part A, Hebrew letters in the mini book practice review. This will go over the individual letters for review. Hi, this is Minister Gale, author and teacher of this section of the Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. Today we're going to do learning the Hebrew 22 letters in an answer and fill in the blank book form that you can work on your own. The Hebrew alphabet is read from right to left. The Hebrew alphabet has no vowels. Those are added later and we're going to get into that in this lesson. All the letters are consonants. The Hebrew alphabet has no lowercase letters, they're all capitals. They do have a cursive index, but I'm not going to use go over that. There is no J in the alphabet that was added later by the Romans and the Greeks, and the order of letters is not the same. This is the Aleph Bet. So if we start on the right, here are the letters in order for the Hebrew alphabet. Aleph Bet, the basic 22 letters. The Aleph is not an A, it is just a mark or an apostrophe. Sometimes they put it in the word and sometimes they don't. So it's apostrophe or a mark, B or V, G, D, H, V, W, Z, C, H, which is pronounced H, T, E or T, Y or an I, which is pronounced like E, K or KH, depending on a dot, L, M, N, S, not an O, S, or a soft C, another mark, apostrophe, the exact same one that's used for Aleph, is also the same mark as used for the Ayin. This will be a P or an F, TS or TZ, Q, R, S H or S I T H or T. So the first letter is called Aleph, pronounced as an F, written with an F or PH, interchangeable like the word Phyllis. It's written PH but sounds like an F. They will write it either way is correct. This will always be an apostrophe or a mark in the word, never an A. Sometimes they leave, put it in, sometimes they leave it out. B, if it has a dot, for bet, B. This will be, without a dot, is written as a B for the pronunciation, but sounds, they will sound it out and pronounce it with a V. It'll be written with a B, like bet, but sounds like a V when they pronounce the word. G for Gamel, hard G, Gmail, Gmail. Two M's are one, either one's correct. So you have mark or an apostrophe. B is in bet, written as a B, but pronounced as V in Victoria without the dot. G, G. Dalet, D, 
that has a little edge on the back of it. H, huh, and it has opening here for breath or heaven or air, inspiration, revelation. Opening here. V or W, either one, V or W, the number for man. There's no back edge on it, so that's how you know the difference between the D and a V and a W. Z, Zayin, Z, the seventh letter, looks like a seven. So you have D, H, V, W, Z. D, H, V or W, and a Z. Zorro. C, H, H, pronounced like Bach. It has a H sound. It's a closed H. So if it's closed to C, H. T, T, E, or T. This will be a T, E, or a T. This will be written as a Y or an I, sometimes both, pronounced as E. C, H, T, Y, or an I. K, the holiness unto the king, holiness to the Lord, the king, the crown. Think of the king's crown. K, hard K if there's a dot. K-H or C-H if no dot. It'll, it's supposed to be K-H. Sometimes it's written as a C-H in the word. And it will end with an F or a P-H. Both sound like an F. So this would be a H. It also sounds the same. H. This is a final or soft eat letter at the end of the word on the left. It is given a numeric value so that because the Hebrews do not use numbers, they use words or letters for numbers. K, if a dot, K-H or C-H, no dot. That'll be a ch. These are the final or soft feet. At the end of the word, on the other videos on my YouTube channel for pronouncing the words and letters, they will say Safit. The I is pronounced like an E. This is the word they're saying. So you have K, KH, which is K, K final or soft feet, and KH, K, final or soft feet. Lamed, L, the shepherd's staff, or the treble clef and piano. Shepherd's staff, L, L is the tallest letter across all of them. M, M for water, mem. At the end of a word, a soft beat, it will look like this shape with that squared across. So the word for water is mayim, two Ms. So the first M will look like this, and the last M will look like this one, both M. Final or soft feet M. So this is L, M, final soft feet M. N for noon, it's spelled N U N, but pronounced noon. N for air or seed. For the final or soft feet N, soft feet N will look like this shape. It will fall below the line. This is an S or a soft C. And there's another one with the mark again, just like Aleph, exact same mark. Sometimes they put it in the word, sometimes they don't. The I for the I. This is for rock, support, seed. So it's N, N final or soft feet because it falls below the line. And the jot and tittle, the jot and tittle in Isaiah 28, this is what it's talking about. Every jot and tittle will come to pass. So these are all in the same line going across. Over here, this is the same line. So then you know that's a final or soft feet letter because it falls below the line. So it's N, N or final soft feet N, S or soft C, and a mark, an apostrophe, third I.
This is P. P for the mouth. P, hard P with a dot. P, H, or F with no dot. P or fe, fe. Pronounced either way, spelled either way. They're both correct. This can be P-E-H. This can be a P-E-I. All we need to know is that that's the letter P. This is a P-H or an F. Here's your P, final or soft feet. If it's written without the dot, it's a P-H or an F. These are the soft feet final letters. So over here you have P, P-H or F, P, final or soft feet, P, H, or F, final or soft feet. T, Z, or T, S, the tree of life, the branch of righteousness, has a branch coming out of the side of it. T, S, or T, Z, this one looks more like the tree of life. There, it looks like a tree. So it's the tree of life, branch of righteousness in Isaiah 11, 2. And it's spelled with a T-S or a T-Z. Either way is correct. Q. It's supposed to be Q. Sometimes it'll be written as a K. It's supposed to be Q for queen, woman, bride, the sun on the horizon. Q-O-F or Q-O-P-H. Both are correct. R for resh, ruler, ruler. Ruler and leader, reigning, R-E-I-G-N. So you have T-S or T-Z, the branch of righteousness. T-S or T-Z, final. Looks like the tree of life there. Q and R for ruling, the ruling fist, the ruler, reigning, R-E-I-G-N. Falls below the line, then you know it's the final or soft feet. These are all on the same line here. These all match up here. This one falls below the line. Therefore, it is a soffit of final letter, soft feet. SH, if the dot's on the right. SI, SIN, if the dot's on the left. T, if the dot's in the middle. TH, if no dot. She, sin, tav, and th, th, th. She, sin. Over here, it's going to be sh because the dot's on the right. This will be s or si for the si on the left, the sin on the left. T, if there's a dot in the middle and he has a little foot over here. TH with no dot. See, and he has a foot and it's closed. And you know it's a T-A-B, the last 22nd letter of the alphabet, because the little foot's on there. Look for the little foot. I have other classes available on YouTube and on Facebook. We have Jesus, the Hope is Salvation, Water Baptism, Learn How to Be Water Baptized. And all the rest of these sessions and Hebrew classes are available also. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you want to learn how to get it, that's available also on my YouTube. That's the end of this session. Thank you. Now we will study the Hebrew vowels and the suffixes, which are also known as the final letters. Hi, this is Minister Gale. This section will be on the Hebrew vowels and Safit final letters for Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. These classes are also available at the YouTube channel on Minister Gale Holy Ghost Coach. If you go to Google search and put in Minister Gale Learning Hebrew in 22 days, you'll find all the lessons. If you go to Facebook, you need to go to the page that says Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. There is an easy lookup on, I have a Strong's Concordance video that will teach you how to use the concordance online. I have three good sources from esor.net, blueletterbible.org, and thekingsbible.com. This booklet 
was created and published by me only for outreach and free class instruction through my nonprofit Gospel Hobby Ministry. It is to be used for education and teaching purposes only and should not be copied or sold online or through other private entities. At the end of a word, there are five letters that change their shape. You will see them written in, sometimes they have these fancy little taggins up here on top, and they make all these different little taggin shapes. Then you have modern Hebrew, and then the regular Aramaic Hebrew, which is what I teach. These are called final or sophite letters. They are at the end of a Hebrew word. This is the modern variation. And then you have this variation of the way it will look. It will be the same letter, but some variations in the way because they are pictures. Remember, this is picture nary. They are all pictures. The language is a picture language. So you have your K and the final or sophite is written like this, K. You have your Kach, Kach, K-H or C-H. It will be written like this. If you have an M at the end of a word, the final and sophite shape will be like this. If you have an N at the end of a word, the final and sophite shape will look like this. If you have a P at the end of the word, it will look like this. If you have an F or a PH at the end of a word, it will look like this final or sophite letter. TS or TZ for righteousness. And this is the way it will look like the tree of life. This is just a different variation on the typewriter. When they had the typewriter, it looks like this shape, C shapes. So here it is in larger print. The final or soft feet letters. You will have the TS or TZ. These all go below the line when there's a word. They will fall below the line. Tree of life, righteousness. N, noon, N for seed or air, continuing life. The K final or soft feet will be written like this with a dot in the word at the end there. Or KH, ch, ch, or CH will be written as this final or soft feet for the KH. PH or F, it will be spelled either way, both are correct, will look like this without a dot. With a dot, it's the P for the mouth. M for the water, M is written with a squared off edge on it and it's smaller shape. So this is righteousness, seed or air, the king's crown, holiness to the Lord, K, Keter, Keter, mouth, PH or F or P, this is all for mouth and this letter is for water. So they're called final or soft feet, pronounced I is pronounced like an E in Hebrew. Final or soft feet. So you have your KH. It'll be H, H. Sometimes CH, written that way. It's written that way, but it's actually for the K. Don't confuse it with the eighth letter. Then with a dot, it's a K, a hard K, Chaf, K. 
King's Crown, Keter. N, Nun, N for seed or air. The final or sophic letter for N, the seed or air. M, final or sophic for mem, water. M, this is the final or sophic for M. T-S or T-Z, Safit, tree of life, righteousness, branch of righteousness, pay for the mouth, P, final or Safit, P with a dot, P-H or F, Fe or P-H-E-Y or P-H-A-Y, it's going to be an F or P-H, no dot. For the mouth. So here's the numeric value assigned to the final or sophite letters. So this, the K, has a value of 500. The M has a value of 600. The N has a value of 700. The P has a, or P H or F has a value of 800. Tasadi, T S or T Z has a value of 900 because the Aleph has a value of 1 or 1000. Now here is the sound alikes. You have look alikes and sound alikes. So this is the B, bet B. This is also a B when it's written in a word, but without the dot, it will sound like a V. Pronounced as a V in Victoria, but written as a B in the letter. Like Ketuvim is written with a B, but pronounced as a V. K. K, holiness to the crown. This is your house, the Bedouin house, tent or home or family. This is your crown. Think of holiness to the Lord and the crown on the priest, and that way you'll remember this. Holiness to the Lord, and the Hebrew word for crown is keter. So K with a dot. K-H, chaf, chaf. P with a dot, F or PH without the dot, for the mouth, the mouth. SI, the dots on the left for sin, seen, if you pronounce seen, they'll pronounce it seen, or sheen, SH if the dots on the right. Tav, or in the King James Bible, Psalm 119, the 22nd section, the last eight verses is T-A-U, which is your Greek or your Latin pronunciation for last or sealed. Cross, T-A-U, but this T-A-V in Hebrew. And T with a dot, T-H without the dot. Here's your sound alikes. So the Aleph will have a mark, and Ayin will have a mark. This will be a B written as a B, but pronounced as a V in Victoria. Second letter, Ayin for the I. V and W for man or the peg or hook. It's pronounced as a V or a W like in Yehovah or Yahweh. This is a V and this will be written as a V. It's pronounced as a V though. This will be written either way. Yehovah or Yahweh, same letter, the sixth letter. 
This is pronounced chach, the holiness unto the Lord, K-H with no dot. That's the crown, keter, in Hebrew for crown, submit. And then here's yoke together, ch. They will both sound the same. It has a closed H. This is the eighth letter for yoke together. K or C, like in cake. It'll be written with a K or C, but it's the K with the dot. And then this will be sounds like K, Q, queen, woman, or bride, but it's a Q. This one's a K, that's a Q. Sometimes I'll write that as a C or a K. It's supposed to be a Q for the queen, woman, bride. S-I for seen, seen. Sometimes I'll write just an S. And this is not an O, this is an S or a soft C. Soft C. This is an S in Hebrew. But it will also sound like a soft C. This is the T in Hebrew. T, Tav. Last seal or cross. His little foot on it. But this will be a T, E, or a T also. The ninth letter of the baby in the womb. Think of the baby in the womb. The ninth letter. T, E, or T. This is how they pronounce, they have a name for all the letters, but we don't need to memorize the names for the letters. All you need to know is the letter. What letter goes with what picture. That's all we're interested in learning the Hebrew. You don't need to memorize all these names, just the letters. So here's more lookalikes. Ayin, or spelled in the King James A-I-N. Ayin, I is pronounced like an E, and this has the Egyptian eye shape. Looks like an Egyptian eye for the third eye. It will be written as a mark. Then here's your branch of righteousness, where the branch is coming out of the side. The tree of life. The seven eyes of God, the seven lamps. Isaiah 11:2. Proverbs 2, 3, 4, 8, and 9, and Revelations. The eyes and the lamps, the seven eyes, the seven lamps, the branch of righteousness. And here's the final or soft feet shape. It looks like the tree of life. It looks like a tree. Which righteousness, branch of righteousness is your tree of life. Nothing else that the Talmud or Kabbalah made up or what Yoga Nanda made up for yoga. Hebrew consonants, the lookalikes. So here we have noon, the N, and the G. It has a four inch high heel. If you look closely, it's a four inch high heel. Looks like a four inch high heel shoe. And noon is flat on the ground. Vet. The vet has a little shelf edge coming out here for Bedouin or house. Spelled B, but pronounced V. Looks like the chaf, the holiness unto the Lord, the crown. Just keep thinking of the crown that goes on the priest that said holiness unto the Lord. And this will, always you'll know that's a crown for submitting K. That's the K. Sometimes written as CH. Warning. Tasadi is the branch coming out of the side, the branch of righteousness, tree of life. Ayin, it comes all the way to the bottom like an Egyptian eye turned on its side. The mark. S, Samech, will be written as a C or a soft S. It is a rounded edge, whereas the mem is squared off like a 90 degree angle for water. Rocker support, value of 60. Mem, the value of 40. 40 baths make up a mikvah. 60 bones in the arms and hands for the priestly blessing. Our rock. Resh comes out a little more at the top. I always say it's a ruling man. 
because man over here you have Vav and this comes out further so it's Resh Dalet has a little edge on the back for the door Ch'e this is the soft feet for Chach and it will be below the line the tail on it will always be below the line then you know it's the final or soft feet for K-H or K Zayin looks like a seven or a sword, the handle on a sword. Noon soft feet is below the line. It's bent over. And for the seed or air, that's the sword or word of God. Involved for man. It will always be here at the line. The noon will be below the line. Heh, heh. There's an opening here, opening. For H, closed H, CH, 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 TH has a little foot on it. Tav with a dot. Tasadi, TS or TZ, and the face of it. I believe these are cursive. Both of these are silent, the Ayin and the Aleph. They just have a mark. Both sound like V, the Vav, and the Bet. C H or K H, the crown K H, or the C H, Q or K, T or T E, S for S I N dots on the left, or S or C. So you have the K H soft feet chach for the crown. D for the door has an edge. R is resh, it's longer at the top. Ruling or reigning, R E I G N. Z, Zayin, seven sword. N, noon, Safi, air or seed, S E E D. And it falls below the line. V, Vav man or nail th no dot has a foot that looks alike ch closed h there's no foot see this has a foot no foot and an open for breathing inspiration window heaven closed h and a foot on the h n for c or air noon Gmail, pride and lifted up four inch high heel. G. K. H. Ch. Ch. V. Pronounce a V but spelled a B. Bedouin for house. K for crown. Holiness to the Lord. Submit. A yin for the eye. The third eye is a mark. T. S. or T. Z. The branch of righteousness. Tree of life. S for rock or support or soft C. M for water, M, soft feet or final letter. Now we have the vowels. This is the vowel section. The vowels will have many different variations for one letter like A because some are hard and soft sound. So the A is like ah in aqua. You go ah. So when you see a line, it's ah, 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 ah. All these are an A in the word for the vowel A. I or Y is pronounced E like in green, E. And when there's a dot under a letter, this stands for any letter, when there's a dot, it's pronounced as an E. There'll be an I. We'll follow that letter. O, like in yellow, when the dot's above the letter, it has an O sound like shalom. Sometimes they'll put the W with it. Sometimes they don't. Eh, eh. These are for the E sound is E, eh, like eggs in a nest. 
It'll be written this way, three dots or five dots or three dots. Then we hit eh, eh, eh. Sometimes this just stands for a break in the syllable in the word. It has no vowel meaning at all. When you see two dots down, it means it's a break in the syllable. Two dots across is your E. Ooh, like in blue. When the dot's to the left, it'll be a U like in blue, three dots down to the right is also an U sound, like U, it's just harder, longer, softer, shorter. That's the only reason they have different variations for the same letter is how to pronounce the letter, the vowel. Okay, so we have the AH. A is pronounced like AH, not A, but AH. So it's soft sounds going to look like this shape. Hard sound is this shape. All these stand for the vowel A in a word. If you see any of these markings, the dots and dashes, these are all an A in the word, stands for an A. Line or the T, the line or the T, just look for the line. That will be an A or a T. E, which is pronounced eh, like in red, eh, will look like three dots, five dots, two dots down, or two across. Sometimes this will be a break in a pair in a syllable and will not be an E. It will just be a break in the syllable. So sometimes this goes back and forth. The I or Y is pronounced like an E. So when you have any letter in the box with a dot underneath, it will have an I in the word and pronounced as E. The yod with the dot is always I, Y, still pronounced E, like Elohim. So it can be spelled H-I-M or H-I-Y-M. Both are correct, pronounced Elohim. Sounds like E, green. The dot above is an O sound like yellow and shalom. Any letter with a dot above it will have an O in the word. U like in blue. The letter with the dot to the left will be written as a U. This no longer will be a V or a W, it will be a U. This will no longer be a V or a W. It will be an O, like in Shalom. U. Any letter in the box with a dot on the left, not in the letter, but to the left of the letter, will be a U, pronounced U, like in blue. Three dots down is also a U. Here it is again. These are all for the letter A, pronounced ah, 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 ah. These will be pronounced as an E, eh, for E, eh, like in red, eh, eh, eh. One dot below the word, below the word will be an I or a Y, pronounced as an E. A dot above a letter will be pronounced as an O. It will have an O for the letter. A dot to the left, not in it, but to the left, will be the U, U. This changes the V, though, to a U. And this will be an E, eh, or a break in the syllable. And this will always be a U sound, a U letter for U. A E I O U. Here it is again. Ah. A will be pronounced ah. 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 
Ah, always the line with the dots of the T. E for E, 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 and sometimes E, sometimes E, or sometimes a break in the syllable. The I or the Y is pronounced as an E, E. The dots underneath it's pronounced as an E and written as an I in the word. This will be written as an I, Y, I, Y, because that's the Yod, the power number, 10th, the 10th letter. And this will be pronounced as an E, Elohim. The O is written as a dot above the letter. O is written as a dot above the letter. This changes the V or W to an O. It will change that letter. Here it will be the letter with an O. U, like in blue, you'll have three dots down at an angle, a dot to the left of the letter, and for the Vav, it changes it to the letter U. A dot above is an O, a dot to the left is U. Here it's written again. This is not an A or an E. This is going to be an apostrophe with an E. Apostrophe with an E. Ah. They're showing you et. Let's pronunciation E in net. Eh. Eh. Ah. 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 Ah, uh, ah, uh, these are all going to be written as an A. These will be written as an E. Then you have the O. This will be written as an O. Apostrophe O. Apostrophe O. But pronounced as an O. 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 Be written as an O, but pronounced as an O, like a moo or blue. O. This will be pronounced as an O and no. O, O, U, written as a U, written as a U. This will sound like an E, but it's written I, Y, because they go down and up. So there will be an apostrophe, I, Y. Sounds like an E, it'll be pronounced E. That'll be an I by itself, pronounced like an E, like in Lee V. L E V I will have a dot underneath the V, and it will be pronounced as an I, E for the letter I. Eh, eh. Here's your letter B. This will be the E. It sounds like an eh for E. Eh for E. Ah for A, ah for A, ah for A. This will be a U like in boo, oo, you. This will be the letter U in a word. When you see the vav with a dot, this will be a U. This will be a B, U, B, U. B U B U B U. So a B and a U will be written like this, or a B and a U can be written like this. That's a U, and that's a U. O, like in yellow. This is going to be an O, and that's a V. So that's B O, but they won't have the H there. It'll be a B. That's just telling you the sound. B, O. This will be a B and an O. When the dot's above, it's an O. When the dot's below, it's an E sound. Don't get that mixed up. That'll be an O. That'll be a B and an O, a B and an O. The Vav is the one that changes. 
this will sound like E. So this will be a B, a Y, and an I. B, I, Y, it'll sound like B. A B and an I is an E sound, B, I, or B, I, Y. B, I, spelled B, I, but it's pronounced as B. B, I, Y, it'll be pronounced as B. So this will be written as a B, but pronounced as a V. This is the second letter in the alphabet for the B, E, T, but pronounced as a V. So this will be B, E, but sounds like E. Eh. B, E. Eh. Or it could be written B, pronounced as a V, 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 V. This is written as a B, but pronounced as a V. V, A, V, A, V, A. It's pronounced as an A, 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 but it'll be written as a V, B, A, but pronounced as a V, A. B is in baby, A, but pronounced as V, Va. B is in baby, but pronounced as a V in Victoria with an A, ah, va. It'll be written B, A, B, A, B, A as in baby, but pronounced V, A, va, V, A, V, A, V, A. This is your B that's pronounced like a V in Victoria, written as a B in baby or bet. This will be your U, U, sounds like a U. It'll be V, U, pronounced V, U. Written B, U, pronounced V, U, U. O, the V with a dot above, is an O, and this is your B, so it'd be B, O, pronounced V, O, written B, O, when the dot's above it, it's an O of any letter, written B, O, pronounced V, O. The yod and the dot are an I, Y, pronounced E. This will be a B, pronounced V. This is a B, pronounced V. So your I can be written as a dot here or a dot with the Y. That's an I, Y, and that will be an I, pronounced as an E. Here's your practice sheet. So you can use this to practice. So you'll have the A, uh, the A, the letter will be A, but the sound will be A. Ah. So I'm going to give you the letter. So this is A, 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 A. A. E, E, E. I, Y. I, E. U, U, this will be a U, a letter with a U, O, or a letter with an O. Now you try it. Now, 
the word for vow in Hebrew is nikudo. It can be spelled N-I. They have all sorts of ways of pronouncing, spelling their words, but they're all pronounced nikudo. Nikudo chart. They have long, big names for the vowels. Big, long names, but we don't need to memorize them. There's no point in it. So you don't need to memorize all these names because they are not in the word. All we're here to do is to learn how to spell the word so we can pronounce them. So if you want to, you can do that. It's extra work, but there's no point in it. So here's the priestly blessing. Let's see how well you can do this. This is what they say every day before the meal. When the Orthodox Jews sit down to eat, they will not even drink water or touch the bread or any food on their table until they say this blessing over the food at each meal. It is Baruch Ata Adonai. Elohinu melech hachalom hamatsi rachem min hereretz. Thank you, God, sovereign of the universe, who brings bread from the earth. So when you see it in Hebrew, it'll be Yehovah, but they only use the word Adonai. So here's the Hebrew. Chala is the bread. So it's, you can practice and see if you know any words. So, Baruch, B, A, R, U, C, H, or K, H, C, they'd use that there, but that's your K, H, the final Zafit. Ata, this will be the apostrophe and they left it off, see it would be in there. So this is your apostrophe. Here's your A, T, A, H, because it's open. Ata. So now you know how to say thank you. Baruch Ata. Baruch, Baruch Ata. And then they have Adonai. They spelled it out here. But in some blessings, you'll see it written as Jehovah. So here's your Adonai. The apostrophe, which they left off, because the Aleph is only a mark. There's your A. D. Supposed to be an O, but they have an A there. N. A. I. So you can see how the Hebrew doesn't always match up with the spelled word. That's where you have to just know your consonants. Apostrophe D. N. I. Your Orthodox Jews don't even look at the vowels. So you have B, R, U, C, H, C, H, which is supposed to be a K, H. And the A is not even there, so we do the T, H, Ata, Adonai. So don't look at the vowels. Do D, N, I. I or Y interchanges. So now we have Melech Elohinu Hachalom. So you have Elohinu. So here's your mark. E L. It's missing an O. H E I. N, you see this turns into a U. So it's went away from VW, it's now a U in the word. Elo, he, nu. L, O, he, nu. Melech. M, E, L, E, CH, which could be KH or CH, they interchange it. Melech. So just look at the consonant. M, L, C, H. That's all they look at. Universe. Ha, olum. Ha, olum. Ha, olum. H, A, 
There's your apostrophe for the ayin. Oh, because now the dot's above. Remember when the dot was to the left, that's a U. Now the dot's above, so now it's an O, L, A, M, your final or soft beat, M. Ha, alom. Ha, alam. Ha, alam. There's your M. So it's H. That's an apostrophe. So go H. All the way over here to the L. There's your O. L. M. Just ignore that. It's just an apostrophe. Now you have Hamatsi, Chachmatsi, Lachem, Mean, Heretz. And they really roll it. So Hamatsi, H, A, M, O, T, Z, I, apostrophe. They're missing the apostrophe. Because the Aleph is not an I or A, it's an apostrophe. So H, M, O, T, Z, I. This is all the Hebrew are seeing is this part. Lachem. L, E, C, H, because it's closed up, so you know that's not the fifth letter for H. It's a closed H. It's missing the E and an M. Lachem. <laughs> mean. M, N. It's missing the I. Heretz, H, because it's open here. A, the apostrophe for the Aleph, it's missing the A. R, it's missing the E, T, Z. So it's H, R, T, Z, because that's just an apostrophe. Baruch Adonai, Elohinu melech halom, haramatsi lachem, Minarets. I have other classes available on my YouTube channel, Minister Gail Holy Ghost Coach, and on Facebook. If you need the Holy Ghost, this will have a video showing you how. Thank you very much. That's the end of this section. Part C, the large Hebrew alphabet and review and practice. If you go onto my Facebook page, there is a photo album where you can print out the practice cards. You can laminate them and I'll give instructions on the next slide how to use them. My Facebook page is Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. If you go to Facebook on Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020, the pages are there for you to print out and laminate. You can practice with dry erase markers. Don't use a red one. Clean with a magic eraser or alcohol wipes. Also, the second set there, you can make flashcards. The letters match the Hebrew letters, the translation, and you can glue those together with spray glue and cut those out and use those for flashcards. Hi, this is Minister Gale, author and teacher of this section of Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. This section is on the alphabet full-size cards for study, which can be printed off Facebook. There is a photo album where you can go and select the pages. There's five to six alphabets that you can print off and use for practice and study. If you laminate them, you can use dry erase markers on them and do not use a red one and clean it with your magic eraser. This class will be available on YouTube channel, Minister Gail Holy Ghost Coach. 
if you go to Google search and put in Minister Gale learning Hebrew in 22 days, you will find it there. It's also available on Facebook on the page called Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. This book was created and published by me only for outreach and free class instruction through my nonprofit gospel hobby ministry. It is to be used for education and teaching purposes only and should not be copied or sold online or through other private entities. I do have a Strong's Concordance video available where you can learn to put it on your cell phone and laptop for online Strong's Concordance. Look up for Hebrew and Greek words. The best sources are esword.net, blueletterbible.org, and thekingsbible.com. And once again, there is a video on my YouTube channel and on Facebook that shows you how to use these resources available online. This is a review of the Hebrew alphabet. In this section, we'll start here. The first letter is just in mark when it's written. This is Aleph for the num for first, and it has just an apostrophe or a mark. And this will be in the word or not in the word. But when you see an Aleph, it is not an A. It is always just a mark or an apostrophe. The next letter is your B, has a dot. V, there's no dot. It's written as a B, but pronounced as V in Victoria in the pronunciation. But the B is in the word with no dot for the V. G, for pride and lifted up, the four inch high heel. G. D for door, delet portal, has a little edge on the back. H, breath, that's open here, revelation, inspiration, the breath of God, heaven. V or W, the number of man, six, tent peg, nail, V or W, when there's no dot. Z, then seven. For sword, Zorro, seven, Z. Double letter combo, CH, pronounced H, H, guttural sound, H. Has a closed H, it's closed. Whereas over here it's open. This one is closed, CH. T or tet, the ninth letter for the womb, the baby's in the womb. There's the baby. All closed up. T or T-E. Yod, David's slingshot, the power of arm of God. A Y or an I, which will be pronounced as an E. This is your K, holiness to the Lord, the crown. The Hebrew word for crown is kether. K-E-T-H-E-R. Holiness unto the Lord. So think of crown, submission. It could be CH or KH, it's supposed to be a KH. H has a guttural sound. Sometimes they'll write the CH. K, if it has a dot. K, if it has a dot. No K, the final letter will be a KH. And this goes below the line. This letter will always be at the end of the word. Still a K or KH. L, Lamed, Shepherd Staff, the Shepherd Staff, Discipleship. And this sits above the line. This is the tallest letter. M for water, Mem, Mem, washing out, wash away sin, covering, cleaning. The final letter will have a squared off bottom, a flat bottom. They are both the letter M. This is at the end of the word, a final or soft feet. Noon. N. This is noon for the seed or air, H-E-I-R, for seed or air, 
in the final letter, the soft feet, at the end of a word, it's going to look like this, still an N, and this falls below the line. This is more rounded off. This is an S or C, should be more rounded. C, soft C like face, or an S, Samech, for support, stone, rock. Ayin, the I, it just has a mark, silent, just like the Aleph. It will have an apostrophe, and the apostrophe you'll see or will not see it. But if you see this letter for Ayin, for the I, it's supposed to have an apostrophe in the word. Sometimes they leave it out. With no dot, this is a PH or an F for the mouth. P, P for the mouth. With the dot, it's a P. Fine or a soft feet letter at the end of a word, it's going to look like this. Extends below the line with a dot, it's a P. No dot, it's a P, H, or F. C over here, almost looks like the noon. Almost looks like the K, H. Just has this extra tail on it. Over here is the T, S, or T, Z. T, S, or T, Z the branch of righteousness, the tree of life. Tree of life, the final or soft feet letter. At the end of the word on the left, it will look like this for TS or TZ. It's a branch. Isaiah 11, 1 and 2. Q for queen, bride, woman. Q. R for resh. R for resh. Sometimes they'll write double letters, sometimes double letters in the word. That means an emphasis. SH, the dot is over on the right. For she, destruction, tearing up and destroying, storms, chaos. SH, SI on the left or S for sin. Seen, S-I-N, S-I, -I, I is pronounced like an E. This with the foot on the ever here on the foot is the last letter, T with a dot. No T, it's a TH. T with a dot. TH, no dot. This is the 22nd letter. And last, seal, covenant, the cross. This is the cross. I have here a practice sheet for the Hebrew alphabet. If you go to my Facebook page called Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020, you can print them out of the photo album and I have the answer sheets and I have six sets of alphabets you can print off for this classroom and study. This is available, this lessons are available on YouTube under Minister Gail Holy Ghost, Doc, Minister Gail Holy Ghost Coach and on Facebook also. Both places will have the lessons. So if you want to practice, mark B is in baby, V is in Victoria, G, D is in door, H is in heaven or H-E, V or W, man, Seven for sword. CH, CH, closed H. Tet, the ninth letter, has a little baby. T, E, or T. Yod, Yod. The Y or I, which is pronounced like an E. This is the power letter, the power of the right arm. K. This is Keter, Ket, K with the dot, K-H, Ch, Ch, with no dot, Holiness unto the Lord, the gold band on the priest, that's how I remember for the K, and submission. At the end of the word, it's going to be a final or feet. This falls below the line, and this will be a K-H without the dot, K with the dot. This is the tallest letter, Lamed for shepherd's 
for the shepherd and the shofar. Lamed, L. M for water, covering, wipe away, or wash. M for water. M final or soft beat. At the end of a sentence, it will look like this with a flat down here. Notice the difference. This is squared off. Final or soft beat M. M like a mother, Mary. And this will be at the end of a word. N, noon, N for seed or air. At the end of a word, the final and soft feet, it will look like this, and this tail will fall below the line. S, this is your S. This is an S, not an O, this is an S. It goes N, S. For support. It will be also a soft C like in face. S or soft C. This will be a mark. This is a mark. That's a mark. Mark, mark, apostrophe. In the word, in the word, it will only be a little mark and apostrophe. The a yin for the eye, the third eye. P for mouth. Hard P with a dot. No dot. It's a PH or an F. PH or an F with no dot. At the end of a word, it's going to look like this. A final or soft feet. Tasada, your TZ or TS, branch of righteousness or tree of life from Isaiah 11, 1 and 2. Branch of righteousness or tree of life. The end of a word is going to look like this. This falls below the line. It looks like a tree. TS or TZ. Q for woman, bride or queen. Q for woman, bride or queen. R, resh. R for resh, ruler, reigning, fist. The head on it's longer than up here. Here's man, and when he's a ruler, it gets longer. He gets a big head. The head is bigger. She for destruction and chaos, destroy, chewing and biting. Six, 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 five, five, five. And on the right side, it's for the SH. On the left side, it's for SI for sin. With a dot, this is a T, the very last letter. This is a T with a little foot. This has a foot on it. And a dot makes it a T. No dot is a TH. No dot is a TH. These are the vowels, and we're going to get into those later. These are all the vowels. If you want to know them now, this is A. A, E, E, I. This goes between the words. O, U. And this changes between a U and an E. This is the answer sheet that goes with the previous alphabet card. If you put the two together front and back, you can make small cards to use for lookup, for matching games, and for testing yourself. They both um, link back to front, and you can glue those together and cut those out. Also down below here, I have the vowels listed which was covered in the other section. And the vowels are always a short sound, the a, ah, e, eh, o, u, u. They don't have long sounds except for the i and the y is pronounced as an e. On the videos on the YouTube for learning the letters, they will use the word soft beat. It's pronounced F-E-E-T, but it's spelled S-O-F-I-T. Here's another selection for the Hebrew alphabet. We'll go over it again. So this is Aleph. It will be written as an apostrophe or just a mark. It is silent. Sometimes this is in the word, sometimes it's not. When you see the Aleph, 
it is not an A, it is just a mark in the word. Bet, B, hard sound B, this has a dot in it. When the dot is not there, it is written as a B as in Bet or Betty, but it is pronounced as a V as in Victoria. G for Gmail, G, this is the letter for G. D, this is the letter for D. It has a little end on the back of it for the D. H, or H-E for H. Huh. It has an opening here on the left for air to go in and out. Your breath, H. Huh. This can, is as V or W, the Vav. Seventh letter looks like a seven. It's a Z for Zayin, a Z. Chet, this is the closed H, C-H. This will be the word picture for the letter C-H. Sometimes they'll have K-H, but it's supposed to be a C-H. This will be T-E or Tet, T, the ninth letter. Yod, it's pronounced Yod. They spell Yod, either one's correct. This is the Y, sometimes I with a dot. K, when the dot's in the center, it's a hard sound of K, like cough, ket, K. This has the guttural sound, chaf, chaf, K-H, sometimes C-H. Looks like the crown that the priests wear, the holiness to the crown. This is the final or soft feet letter for K-H. With a dot, it will be a K. At the end of a word, it will always be on the left. That is a K-H or a K. Notice the tail, the end on it here is below the line. These will always be below the line, the final or soft feet letters. Lamed, Lamed, the shepherd's crook, or the treble clef on the piano. Lamed, L, L. Mem, M for water. Mem, M for water. Final mem, or soft feet mem. It will be square at the bottom. Squared off at a 90 degree angle at the bottom. And that will always be at the end of a word, like mayim for water. Noon, spelled none, but pronounced noon, N. This is the N. And that's the final or soft feet, noon or n. And notice the tail is below the line. It has a shorter top on it because the kh and k has a longer top. The n has a shorter top. Samek, s. This is a soft c or an s. It looks like a circle. It is not the o. It is an s or a soft c. A yin will be just a mark, exactly like the alif. It will be in the word as an apostrophe, two different letters, same punctuation. P with a dot is P or pe, either one's correct, but it's the, for the letter P. It's all you need to know, it's for the letter P. This is for the letter P, H, or F. Fe, 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 spelled all these different ways, but all you need to know that's for the letter F or PH. Final PE, if it has a dot, final FE, if it has no dot, or a F, PH or an F. Tasadi, this will be a TS or a TZ, the tree of life, the branch of righteousness. Tasadi, or Sadi, they'll just say Sadi. Final or Safit Sadi the tree of life, branch of righteousness, and it will be below the line. Kof, Kof, this should be above the line. Kof, Q, O-P-H or Q-O-F. Remember the P-H sounds like the F, same sound like Phyllis. Sometimes they write a Q there or a K, but it's supposed to be a Q. 
R for Resh, and it has a longer head on it. If you look at Vav for man or nail, the Resh has a longer head on it. I said it's a man that's ruling or reigning. He has a bigger head. SH, the dots on the right. SI are just S, the dots on the left. Tav has the dot in the center with the little foot. It will be written in the King James Bible in Psalm 119, the 22nd section, T-A-U, which is a Roman and Greek, Greek spelling for the Tav, which is the Hebrew spelling for T, and this is T-H. Sometimes they'll write S-A-V for the T-H because it's just a pronunciation thing. Here is a test page for you that you can use for practice to see how well you've learned your letters. So this will be always the apostrophe here. The A-Y-M will be an apostrophe or just a mark. The mark B, V, G, D, H, V or W. Z, CH, T or TE, Y or I with a dot, K, KH, KH without the dot, K with the dot, that's the final or soft feet, L, M, M at the end of a word, a final or soft beat, M. N. Final or soft beat, N. Falls below the line. It's a little shorter than the K or KH at the top. That's a look-alike. The noon, the N will be with a shorter top below the line for the final or soft feet. S. This is the letter S. There's the M, final or soft feet M. This is an S, like in Sally, or C, like in face. This will be just a mark for the third eye, the I. P, with a dot, it's a P. Without a dot, it's a PH or an F. Final or soft feet, PH or F. TS or TZ for righteousness. Tree of Life, same thing. TS or TZ, final or soft feet. And it will be below the line. Q, sometimes written as a K, but it's supposed to be a Q. R, remember it has a bigger head on it for ruling and reigning. That's smaller. This is taught longer. R, SH, SI or S. T, T, H. Let's see if you know the meanings. First, house, home, or family. House, home, or family. Pride and lift it up. Door. Breath, inspiration, revelation. Remember, he has the air there. Man or tent peg or nail, the sword, the word of the spirit. Yoke together, yoke together. The womb, protection, basket. The power letter, the power of God, the right arm. David slingshot, the power. K for keter or crown, submission. K-H, crown, submission, same meaning. The final K-H, same meaning. Lamed, for the shepherd's crook. Discipleship, staff, teaching. M, for water. Final or soft feet, M, for water. N, for air, H-E-I-R, or seed, continue life. Noon, 
And the final is saw feet, same thing. Seed, air, continue live. S for support, the rock. Support or the rock. The I, the third I, the I, the Egyptian I. E, Y, E. Mouth. This is for the mouth. P for the mouth. Mouth. F for pH. Final Safi. F for pH or P with a dot. Mouth. The branch of righteousness or tree of life. Branch of righteousness, tree of life. Final or Safi. T, S or T, Z. Q for queen, woman, or bride. R for reigning or R E I G N I N G to reign or rule leader S H these are teeth to destroy cut chew chaos chaos destroy divide cut chew teeth biting sin S I sin Tav, the last, the seal, the cross, the end, covenant, TH, same meaning. Here it is in another form for practice. There's your mark. The B, pronounced as a B, but written as a B. Gmail can have one M or two M's. G, D for door. H has an opening here for breathing. Open window. The air, heaven. The Bob, which is a nail or man. V or W, either one, Yehovah or Yahweh, same letter. With a dot over here, it's a U. With a dot above, it's an O. Z, Zorro, sword. Chet, chet. Sometimes K-H, but it's supposed to be a C-H. Closed H. It's closed. This one's open. This one's closed. Echad will have C-H for one. Tet, there's the baby in there, the ninth letter. The womb, T or T-E. Y or I with a dot, it'll be an I Y like Elohim. And this is the power letter 10, the right arm of God. Exodus 15, 6. David's slingshot, the power, right arm of God is power, not a literal chair or throne next to the main throne. There are no persons in the Godhead at this time. He is the Spirit, the Word. K with a dot, spelled K-A-F, K-A-P-H, K-E-T. It's all K. Without the dot, it's K-H. Sometimes they put C-H. K-H, final or soft feet, K-H. L, M, final or soft feet, M. He has the bottom number, bottom that looks like the 90 degree angle. Both M. N, N, final or soft feet N below the line. This is an S or soft C like face. It's rounded. A yin, a yin is the Egyptian eye and it's just a mark, just like the alo. This with a dot is a P. Without the dot, it's P, H, or F. P, H, or F. With a dot, that will be a P at the end of a word. The final or soft feet, this puts below the line. Tasadi, T, S, or T, Z. It has a branch coming out of it. The branch of righteousness, tree of life. This looks like the tree of life more. Goes below the line. Q. Sometimes they're written as a K, but it's Q for queen, woman, bride, the sun on the horizon. 
R has a longer head on it for ruling or reigning or leader, Resh, SH, Sheen, chaos and destruction, teeth, this was teeth, biting teeth, SSI for sin, this is Vav, 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 six, six, six. The letter six is the Vav, V-A-V. -A -V. So you have World Wide Web, www. It's also the 23rd letter in the Roman and Greek alphabet. They took it out of the 21st position, changed the Hebrew alphabet, changed the Bible, Roman and Greek, and they moved it to the 23rd position. Tav, T-A-V, and T-H with no dot. Here's your practice sheet. So you can fill in the answers. If you print it out on Facebook, this you can have a card to print out and you can practice. So we have Mark, B, V, G, D, H, V or W, Z, C, H, closed H, T, E or T, Y with a dot, it's I, power arm, that's the power, the yod, power of the hand, right arm. K, holiness to the Lord for crown. K, H, K, H, final soft feet. L, M, M, final or soft feet, squared off 90 degrees. N, N, final or soft feet. S, or soft C. A, yin is just going to be a mark. P, P, H, or F. P, H, or F, with a dot that will be a P, final or soft feet, below the line. T, S, the branch of righteousness, or T, Z. T, S, or T, Z, the tree of life, branch of righteousness, final or soft feet. Q, R, S, H, S, I, or S, T, or T, H. Remember, if you print them off and laminate them, do not use a red dry erase marker. Use a blue or a different color. You can clean them with the magic eraser or alcohol. Here's practice on your own. So we have the mark B, G, four inch high heel lifted up. D for door, H for heaven, breath, V or W, that's the sixth letter, V or W for man or nail, 7Z, CH, closed H, Chet, here's the baby in the womb, Tet, T-E, the ninth letter for womb, Yod, the power letter. K. H or K. So it's KL. So it goes Y. K. L. M. N. S. Not an O. The Greeks and Romans made a mistake and called it an O. It's an S or a soft C, just a mark for the I. P for the mouth, T S or T Z, branch of righteousness. Q, this is the Q for the queen, the woman, the bride. R, S H or S I, T or T H. That's the 22 letters. These don't have the fine or soft beats in them. So it's basic 22 in Psalm 119. And that's for your practice. Thank you very much.
And that is the end of this section. Minister Gale. I have other classes on my YouTube channel at Learning Hebrew in 22 Days and also on Facebook, Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. All charts from this section can be printed off of Facebook in a photo album on that page. Thank you. This is Minister Gale. Part D, the Hebrew Words of the Week. We'll be learning new Hebrew words each week. This week we are going to review the power of the Yod, the tenth letter in the Hebrew alphabet, and the words Yehovah, Elohim, Yehovi, Yeshua, Yasha, and how they are spelled and their meaning. Hi, this is Minister Gale, author and teacher of this session of the Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. This is week five Hebrew class, words of the week. We will be going over Yehovah, Yeshua, and Elohim. This section was created and published by me only for outreach and free class instruction through my nonprofit gospel hobby ministry. It is to be used for education and teaching purposes only and should not be copied or sold online or through other private entities. The tenth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is the Yod, Yod. It looks like David's slingshot. The name of the Lord. It is the right hand of power. It's the power letter or power number. Ten is the number for power. This is a yad yeah that's used on the papers with the Orthodox sect of Jews. They do not touch the paper. They use a yad, which is the word for hand in Hebrew. In 2000, 3000 BC, the original pictogram for this letter looked like a right arm and right hand. And that's where the picture came from and the meaning. Then in 1000 BC, they changed it to this picture. And now it has evolved to the picture of David's slingshot. Why is a consonant in Hebrew? Sometimes when there's a dot put with it, then it's an I. It is not a vowel. Yod. Exodus 15, 6. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Psalm 89, 10. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm. Psalm 89, 13. Thou hast a mighty arm, strong as thy hand. High is thy right hand. Job 12:9. Who knoweth not in all these that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this? Job 12.10 In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. So when the Bible speaks of the right hand of God, it is talking about power, not a literal right arm. There are not two men and two thrones in heaven. When Jesus was seated at the right hand of God, it's talking about he has all power, as he said in 28.18, all power is given unto me. Psalms 81.10, I am the Lord thy God. Now remember I told you that in the Hebrew language, several words can mean a sentence can mean one word in Hebrew. So I am the Lord, singular. In the Old Testament, he was always singular tense. I am the Lord thy God. 
So when you look up capital L-O-R-D, it is always H3068 for Yehovah. I am the Lord. That was his name in the Old Testament. Thy God. This one will have different, many different Hebrew words for the word God. You have to look them up in the Strong's Concordance. The jet capital G, O, small O, D is Elohim, H430. So first we'll look at the I am the Lord, H3068. Yehovah, remember this is a consonant. Remember that the Hebrew language only looks at the consonants. The vowels were added later for pronunciation. So this is Y, E, H, it's open here. O is the dot above, V, A, H, Y, Ho, Va, Yehova, Yehova, or Y, H, V, H is the abbreviated form. The Orthodox Jews won't say the name of Yehovah, they will say only the name Adonai when it is in print Yehovah. Elohim, right to left. Remember the Aleph has an apostrophe or mark. E, L, O, there's a dot. H, I, Y, there's a dot with the Y. And M, this is a final or soft beat M at the end of a word. So it's apostrophe E, L, O, H, I, Y, M. Elohim. I is pronounced like an E, Elohim. Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Job 33, 4. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. Psalms 33, 6, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. So from these three scriptures, you can see the I am, Lord God, is the Holy Spirit. A spirit is a spirit. A ghost is when you die and he gives up the ghost is the word, he's the word, he's breath, and he's life. All these are for the Lord, the I am singular. This is not a person. He's a spirit, a ghost, the word, breath, and life. That's not a person. That is God. John 1.1 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was God. The Word was God, not three persons. I am the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Word, breath, life. Now the Word's going to become the Son. Now the Word is going to become a Father. John 1, 14, and the word was made flesh. God became flesh only once in 1 AD and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. That's when God became a father, capital F-A-T-H-E-R, was when he made a son. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Ghost is breath. You can say either Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost. They both mean the same thing. Acts 2.2 2. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mushy, rushing, mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. 2.3 And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them. 2, 4, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. 
If the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit was a person, he would not be able to fill another person. A body can't go into another body. That's impossible. But a spirit can. A ghost can. They were all 120 filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. In the Old Testament, he was the Spirit. In the New Testament, the Greeks changed the word Spirit to ghost. Still not a person. So here's Yehovah short. That's the abbreviation. Yehovah. 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 I am the I am, which is what this word spells. The Lord revealed in man revealed. And that's where we get Jesus. He was the man. The son of God. The son of man. Jesus. He was a man for 33 years. No longer. Elohim. The God of gods. There is no one higher than the Elohim. I am him. I am the Lord, I am Jehovah, that is my name, Isaiah 42, 8. And the Roman Catholics changed the Y to a J, there is no J in Hebrew. So Jehovah is in there four times in the Old Testament, is actually capital L-O-R-D. When you look up in the Strong's Concordance, the four times for Jehovah is H3068, the same word for Jehovah, which is in there over 6,000 times. So the beginning of the word came from Yah, Lord or Yah, H3050. So here's your Yod, the A, the vowel, and the H. When they double the H, it's pronounced harder, Yah, Yah, Yah. There's your H. It's in there 49 times, H3050. This is the proper noun with reference to a deity. On your typewriter, a Hebrew typewriter, they will have a modern script here. So this is Yehovah as we read it from the scriptures. And this is on the typewriter. Y-E-H-O-V-A-H. -H. And that's what it will look like on your typewriter. They read right to left. Y, H, V, H. The jot and tittle in Isaiah 28 is referring to the jot and tittles on here as the edge of the words, the letters, the edge of the letters, the jot and tittle, jot and tittle. That's exactly what they're referring to is the word of the Lord shall come to pass. It is forever written in heaven bound on earth. It can never be changed. So in Latin, it's Jehovah or Jesus translated I am in English. So Jesus is the Latin for the English I am. In the Old Testament, Jehovah is Latin for the English I am. Jehovah is the Hebrew for the word I am in English. So his name in the Old Testament is Yehovah. Y E H O V A H. Now, normally the V with the dot above it, the V sound should go away, and this should just be an O. So when you do it the way it's taught, Yehoah, it's almost like breath. Yehoah, Yehoah, it's breathing, it's life. So even his name means breath, Yehoah. 
because they wouldn't even pronounce that as a V. That's in there 6,519 times. It is the proper noun for reference to a deity. This is important to note that when you look in the Strong's Concordance, and I'll show you later why. So it's H3068 in the Strong's Concordance. Ya, ho, va. I am the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Word, breath, and life. It can be Yahweh, that's also correct, because the V changes to a W. Either pronunciation is correct, the translation for both is the Lord. Remember they read right to left. Yud, He, Va, and it can be V or W, and He. Y, H, W, H, J, or V. This can be a J or a Y. There is no Y in, there is no J in the Hebrew alphabet. Roman Catholics turned that Y into a J in 325 AD. I am the Lord, that is his name. I am the Lord. Jesus is Latin for I am. It's all singular tense. I am is singular. He told Moses, I am the I am. When Moses said, what's your name? He said, tell the people, I am the I am. Not the we are, the we are. I am, so Latin is Jesus. Greek is Iesus, Spanish, Jesus, French, Jesus. Italian, African, and Hebrew is Jehovah, the Lord. So the Hebrew for Jesus is Jehovah, the Lord. There is no other. I am the I am. This is how we got the Yah from Jehovah. Contraction. So this shows the Yah. This dot here just means a, a deeper pronunciation of the word. So they can say Yah for Jehovah. Same thing, the Lord. So let's try a scripture. In previous session, we learned that yada means to know, yada. So we have Y-A-D-A, -A, and this is to see with the I, and that's the mark, the apostrophe, yada. Notice the whole sentence there means the word to know. Y-A-D-A -A apostrophe. Yada means to know. I also taught you that Shem is the name of the people, the Jews. The third son of Noah, you have Japheth, Ham, and Shem. Shem is the people of the name. S-H, because the dot's over this. E-M, final safit. Whenever you see the word name, it will be H-034, Shem, that thou whose name, alone is Jehovah, and all they have it translated is, I am the Lord, Jehovah, art the most high, alone. And then in the blessing that we learn for over the food, the Kala, Hala, bread blessing, we learned that Eretz was earth. Eretz is earth. Apostrophe E-R-E-T-S for righteousness. The first ruler of righteousness. The earth. He's over the earth. He's the Lord of the earth. There's your T-S. Final soft beat for T-S-T-Z. 
and this is the word for earth, Eretz, Eretz. So that men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, name alone, art the most high over all the earth. And this is there translated. And here is a scripture, Exodus 6, 3. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, unto Jacob, by the name of the God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. So let's look at the Hebrew words for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So Abraham is already in Hebrew. You've been saying the Hebrew when you say Abraham. So remember, they read right to left. So it's apostrophe A, B. That's the word division. That's dividing a syllable and two dots down. R, A, H. There's a little gap. A, M. The final soft beat M, which is squared off at the bottom. So it's Abraham. Now we have Isaac, which in Hebrew is pronounced Yitzchak, Yitzchak, Yitzchak. So it's I, because you have the Y with the dot, TS, the branch of righteousness. That's the division there. Um, between the two syllables, the two dots down. CH, this is closed. See, that's open. This one's closed. A, Q. So in Hebrew, the word Isaac stands for the power of righteousness yoked to the bride, the woman. So remember, Isaac was the blood covenant, the circumcision, the first blood covenant in the Bible under Abraham. So the promise through the son, the bloodline, went through Isaac. And circumcision, all Jews had to be circumcised in the Old Testament in the Bible, no longer in the New Testament. Jews and Gentiles, no one needs to be circumcised right now. Because that circumcision was changed to the water baptism in the New Testament, which is in Romans and Colossians. So when you have the bloodline and the first Jewish church in the Bible in the book of Acts is Jewish. And that was the Bride of Christ. So the first Bride of Christ in the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 2, was to the Jews. So Israel is the Bride of Christ, the original church. And this is showing through Isaac, was a foreshadowing of the Bride of Christ, which is the Jewish church. In the book of Acts, the Gentiles were grafted in later. So then you have Jacob, which is Yahob. Yahob in Hebrew. So you have Y, A, apostrophe for the Ayin, A, that's the dividing syllable, the two dots down, Q, O, the dots above, and a B, remember no dot in the center, it's a B. It would be pronounced really with a V, so it would be. Yaakov, it would be pronounced with a V, not a B. And that means the power, and they put the Q's pronounced as a hard C, of the bride or woman of the house. The power of the bride of the house. Israel. Remember, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So once again, when he said he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, He's again talking about the house of Israel, which was the first church in the book of Acts. The bride, the woman, the house of the woman, the house in the Bible, the bride of Christ is Israel. God, L, apostrophe E, L, apostrophe E, L, Shaddai, but it has a Y there. It is pronounced, they say Shaddai, but it would be an I, would be an E pronunciation. So we have SH, the dots on the right, A, D for door, A, and the power, the Yod is on the end, Shaddai, Almighty. It's talking about the power, SH is to destroy, wasted, 
the door. The power of the door can waste an entire continent. The power of the door. Shaddai, the almighty God, all-powerful God, he can waste an entire house in seconds, an entire continent and city in seconds. He can wipe lands out. Whole tribes were wiped out in minutes with earthquakes, showing the power of the Almighty. The sons of Korah My name, Shem. Remember, Shem is the Hebrew name. They are the people of the name. The, one of the sons of Noah. S-H-E-M. The final softbeat M. Shem. The people of the name. Yehovah. The Lord. The Lord. Yehovah. And then we learned in the last session, Yada. Y-A-D-A apostrophe. Y A D A apostrophe. That's to see the door. The power of the door sees all. Remember, he sees all. He knows all. Omniscient. And remember, Jesus said he was the door. Israel. Not Israel, but Israel. Y I S. This is dividing the syllable here. R A apostrophe E L. Yisrael. Yisrael. God prevails. God prevails. First ruling shepherd. The power over sin. S-I, that's a S-I. This divides the word. Yisrael. Echad, the word for one, echad. In the word one is the word letter door, the letter for the word door. He said, I am the door. Deuteronomy 6, 4, here, Israel, the Lord, our God is one Lord, he was already telling us he was the door in Deuteronomy 6, 4. The first yoke to the door. Aleph, which is your apostrophe. E, C, H, A, D for door. It's in there 723 times. It's a number. He's the number one. Deuteronomy 6, 4. Hear, o Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. You have here, Shama, S-H-A-M-A, -A, apostrophe. That's the A-Yin is the apostrophe. Yisrael, which we went over, the Y-I-S. That's dividing the syllable. R A apostrophe E L. The Lord Yehovah Elohim apostrophe E L O H I Y M. One Echad apostrophe E C H. That's closed. Remember, this is open for H. This is closed H C H. A, D, and then Yehovah again. So you already know the Hebrew. The only new word here is Shama for to hear. Yisrael, Yehovah, Elohim, Echad, Yehovah. The Lord our God is one Lord, the Shema. So we have the Lord our God. Jesus is the Lord God. The I am is one, Echad. The first yoke to the door. One. So when you're baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost and baptized under the water in the name of Jesus, you are one with the Lord. Here's Jehovah. Now, Jehovah, if you want to dig deeper in Hebrew through your Strong's Concordance, this is not the root word. It says Yehovah comes from a root word, 
1961. So let's go look at 1961 and see and dig deeper into the word Yehovah. It comes from the word Haya. Haya. H A Y A H. Haya. To be or I am. To exist. A verb. But that's not the root word. Still says to go to H1933. Hava. Hava. H A V A H. The apostrophe is in the next word, which means to breathe. Remember, he's the breath. He's the spirit of God. He's breath, the I am. He's life, not a person. You can't have a person inside of a person unless you're pregnant. So here's where he breathed into man, Genesis 2, 7. We did the 1961, but that's still not the root word. Dig deeper, H183. Here's the root word, Ava. Apostrophe. A V A H Abba, which means desire, covet, lust, long for. So the Lord longs for you. Remember, He knew you before you were in the womb. He created you. He gave you His breath. His breath. He longs for you to be one with Him, to be filled with His Spirit of power. Without his spirit filling in you, you don't have the power. You have breath, but you don't have his power. Another word is Yehovah, H3069. That is in there 305 times. If you look up, you can see what scriptures use that. So what it is, is they don't want the repetition of the word God and Lord You'll see Yehovah in there twice in a sentence, but the second Yehovah will be pronounced Yehovi because they prevent the repetition of the same sound or Yahweh in one scripture. Yeshua. Yeshua is not the name of the Lord. The Messianic Jews have confused the Christian churches from their confusion that Yeshua is not the name of the Lord. His name is Jesus in the New Testament, the Lord Jehovah in the Old Testament. This is why it's very important for you to see the grammar of each word when they translate it from Hebrew. Yeshua is a feminine noun. Jehovah is a masculine noun, the proper name of a reference to a deity. Yeshua is a feminine noun, meaning the word salvation. Yeshua. It's in only in there 78 times. The name of Yehovah is, only, is in there 6,000 plus times. So this is his process. The Lord in the Old Testament and Jesus in the New Testament. Salvation is the process saving us from sin. And the verb, the root word of Yeshua is Yasha, the verb to save, Savior, avenging, defend. The Jewish Hebrew people have a day called Yom Kippur, which is a day of repentance. Here's Teshua, which is salvation from their sin, and that is a feminine noun also, but that is the Hebrew word for salvation, is Teshua. So here's the word Yeshua, which is only in there 78 times, Y E S H. U W apostrophe for the A E N A and an H Yeshua, which is a feminine noun from the verb Yasha to save the verb, which is salvation or help deliver help. It is a feminine noun. It is not the proper name of a deity. So here's Yeshua, it's a feminine noun, and it has, the root word is H3467, Yasha, 
a verb to save, which is in there 149 times. That's the root word. So here we have the Lord in Scripture is my salvation. Now see the entire sentence here, and he has become my salvation, is for the one word in Hebrew, Yeshua. It's an action word, action, a process. H3444, Yeshua. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. That is not his name. Elohim, God of gods. Elohim is the God of gods. Genesis chapter 1. So he's the first shepherd revealed power over the water. The name Elohim means Genesis 1.1. The power of God over the water. Elohim, the God of gods. There's only one. Elohim, he is the God, almighty creator. He used his breath, his word, to create. The God of gods. El lo him. El. Now, you can find Elohim also in the Hebrew for the word angels. It's only in there once and in four times in one scripture, and it means the God of angels, angels of God, men of God. It's a masculine noun. It does mean angels, but it's only once to four times in the one scripture, H430. still says Elohim, but it's not the predominant name for angels. We'll get into that in another lesson. So here's Elohim, the God of gods, same number, but you have to dig deeper and look up the definition 2,346 times in your Strong's Concordance. That's a masculine noun. Angels are a masculine noun. Elohim, the God of gods. Masculine. So let's look up Elohim and dig deeper to see the meaning of Elohim. God, Ram, Strong, and Twist. So Elohim, the God of Gods. Apostrophe, here's your word right now. E, L, O, there's the dot above. H, I, Y, E. Remember the I is pronounced like an E. Elohim. But it's not the root word. Let's see what the root word is. It says to go to H4333. Eloha. Apostrophe E L O W A H. And that double H has a dot, means it's pronounced harder. Eloha. You pronounce it harder. It can mean God, which is in there 52 times, or false God, five times, capital G, small O-D. Still not the root word of Elohim. G, go to H410. L, apostrophe E-L, apostrophe E-L, which means the first shepherd, that's the word first and shepherd. God, this one's in there 213 times, but it's still not the root word. It's telling us to go to a root word for Ram, H352. Ail, Ail, for Ram. So out of Elohim, we're digging deeper, and the word Ram is in the word Elohim, the God of gods. Remember when Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac and the Lord said, I will provide the sacrifice. He provided a ram, which is a male sheep, the strongest male sheep. They're huge, powerful sheep. The male sheep is called the ram, which is part of the word Elohim. 
but it's still not the root word. We have to dig deeper, go to H193. We come down to the word strong, to twist, yul, yul, apostrophe, U-W-L. The first shepherd still means the first shepherd, but this has the word, there's a man in there, strong to twist. And what came to my mind was the DNA is a strong twisted coil. When they look up the chemistry with the microscope, it looks like a twisted coil. Your DNA is strong, seven parts like a rope. The chromosomes are seven parts twisted together. Your code, your identifying code, your identifier number with the Lord is your DNA, which says who you are. Everybody has a DNA, which is the separate ID code of God coming from the Lord. He is twisted in you. He is wrapped inside of you in the DNA. Remember, he knew you before you were in the womb. He made you. He's in you. He is the breath of life. The root word of Elohim is the DNA. That's your connection to God. The DNA. Elohim. First shepherd revealed over the water. Elohim. 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 He's him. The all-powerful one creator. Not three persons. That is a lie created by the Roman Catholic Church. Elohim. It is him. One door. He is the I am. It's all singular. I am the Lord God. Yehovah Elohim. Emmanuel. And in Greek it's spelled with an E. In Hebrew it's I Manuel, which is pronounced as an E. In Isaiah 7:14, God is with us. The I am, the Holy Spirit, Ghost, is the word, the breath of life, Jesus. I have other classes available on YouTube and on Facebook. On YouTube, it's under Minister Gale Holy Ghost Coach is the channel. If you go to Google search and type in Minister Gale, learn Hebrew in 22 days, it should go right to the video. On Facebook, it's called Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. That is the end of this section. Thank you very much. This is Minister Gale. I have other classes available also on YouTube. I have Jesus is the Hope of Salvation, Water Baptism, and the rest of the sessions for my learning Hebrew in 22 days. Also, I have available a video on how to receive the Holy Ghost for Jew and Gentile. If you don't have the Holy Ghost Baptism, I have videos to show you how to get it. Hi, this is Minister Gale. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Minister Gale Holy Ghost Coach and click the alert bell to notify you of any future Hebrew classes. On the YouTube channel, it is Learning Hebrew in 22 Days, and on my Facebook channel, it is at Learning Basic Hebrew Virtual Classroom 2020. Thank you very much, and this is Minister Gale.